Now, scientists have discovered a new type of ice, never before seen in a lab or in nature, by shaking water in a jar of cold metal balls. Colin Baker has a story. It's called MDA, or medium-density amorphous ice. And it's not even the first new phase of ice to be discovered. It joins 19 others, from the kind you put in your drink to the kinds found in space. Ice is just a gift that keeps on giving. You know, it's kind of interesting. We, we think of ice as being this, this sort of single material. But it turns out that from the beginning of the 20th century, people have taken ice, and one of the things they've done is they've cooled it down and they've, they've squeezed it. And each time they've done this to different conditions of pressure and temperature, they've been able to get different structural forms. The ice we know is made of neat, boxy crystals of frozen water. That's one reason snowflakes are so elegant. They grow according to the crystal's shape. MDA ice looks like snow, but deep inside, its molecules are a tight, jumbled mess. Researchers at London's UCL and Cambridge borrowed a machine from a neighboring lab and put water in it, something they say just hadn't been tried before. They ran it for 24 hours at minus 200 degrees Celsius, smashing the contents. What we did was we essentially smashed and smashed and smashed again. And, and the idea was to see whether we could kind of lose the, 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 the crystalline order and end up with something much more interesting. And to our considerable surprise, this rather childish experiment that, you know, the idea kind of came to us, I guess, on a Friday afternoon, um, actually seemed to work. And in here... What came out was still ice, but with the density of liquid water. Ice like this might exist in the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, where it could play a role in ice quakes and ice geysers. And we think it's possible that there might be some of this MDA ice lurking within these planets. And so one of the things is we really want to understand more about its properties and its mechanical behavior because this might shed light on the behavior of these exotic glaciers. And it means there's still a lot to learn about the most important chemical compound we know, water.